Hey folks, you are most welcome to the channel. And once again, we have an amazing marketer over here who is going to share with you that how you can start and grow your marketing agency. So dear guests, you're most welcome on the, on the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me, man. I'm excited. Right. Perfect. Perfect. So uh, brother, the audience is super excited to know what actually they need to do in order to start their marketing agency. Okay, so let me kind of go over my um story of, you know, getting my first client and getting my first sale and whatnot, starting and growing my service-based business. So in 2017, um, I graduated high school. I didn't think it made too much sense to go the traditional route and go to college and go in all this debt just to learn how to start a business when I could just start a business um, buy a few courses online. I remember when I was telling my counselor my plan, um, he was kind of laughing at me because like the uh, idea to just buy some course online. And, you know, I didn't tell him. And I don't um, accomplish things that you probably haven't accomplished, right? I want to I want to help a lot of people um, and also retire my parents. So I just didn't think it made sense to go to college. Um, but I was viewing a lot of Ty Lopez's content at that time. So I was working at a golf course. And when I got a few paychecks, I had ended up um, buying his course for $697. Now, it wasn't like a terrible course, but it really wasn't the best course um, because I just left me so confused. And... But it, I knew people who were just going through the course, taking action and getting results because they were taking action. Sometimes, even if you don't know what you're doing, just taking action, you're going to get results. Um, but I and another thing about entrepreneurship is that it exposes you. Right. So if you have anxiety, if you have fear, um, it, it, all that stuff is going to come out because you're going to have to do a lot of stuff that's uncomfortable. Right. You're going to. Uh, take risks, you're going to have to dedicate time and energy resources to something, not even knowing if it's going to work. So I, um, I did end up getting my first sale in 2019 by promoting his products as an affiliate. Um, I started to publish his YouTube videos, Ty, Ty Lopez's YouTube videos on a channel. And even to this day, it still generates me sales. I haven't published on it since like 2019, I think. And um, I started publishing his videos as an affiliate. I got my first sale. And then from then on, I kept getting sales. And I really wasn't aware of what I was doing, but I, because I didn't really like understand why marketing worked or why I was getting sales. I just knew I was getting sales. So I kept getting sales for Ty Lopez. Then I started promoting um, ClickFunnels as an affiliate. I read .com Secrets and Expert Secrets. And it made me aware of like why I would go on, let's say, a webinar and feel so compelled to buy at the end. Right. Why I, it would make me aware of why marketing works so I can more deliberately get people to read a post from me, then go to a website, then buy a product or service all from some stranger online. And, you know, now I've been able to um, sell all types of products and services, uh, coach, uh, coaching programs, uh, marketing services, uh, info products. Um, all that after becoming more aware of why uh, people buy. Now, even before I really knew what I was doing, uh, 2020 came and I started working with this guy named Aaron Lawson. Um, and we started a brand called the Expert Funnel Incubator. And this was when I, uh, this same year, 2020, I got my first client for funnel design, which was $150, um, $150 client. It was something, I, it was a service I was really confident about um delivering on because i could show people what they would get um with facebook ads well, that was like the first service i tried to pitch from like 2018 to 2019 it took me like two years just to get a client um it was the first service i was trying to pitch but like i didn't know anything about facebook ads i never ran an ad so even after i booked the meeting or two I didn't close them because I didn't, I wasn't really confident. I, I couldn't show them like, Hey, these are results we got for a restaurant or Hey, here are results we got for a chiropractor. It was just all theoretical. Like, Oh, we, if we run this ad, it might get you some customers and clients, but with funnel design, I could be like, Hey, 
this is uh, what you're getting right here's the beautiful funnel I just uh, would share my designs in like Facebook groups and on my personal profile and then people would come to me and so um, I got my first client then later on that same year, I ended up posing my first uh, client for a $4,000 service by working with uh, my business partner, Aaron, who had a network. And then we were and ended up, ended up closing clients for eight grand and 14 grand. And um, we worked with Grammy, a Grammy nominated music or sorry, 13 time Grammy nominated uh, musician. Um, a Grammy award-winning musician, popular influencers. Um, I generated revenue for seven, eight, nine-figure companies. So um, where I really started to know what I was doing was 2021, last year. Because in the beginning of the year, when we stopped taking on clients um, and me and my business partner started to kind of split, I was not really able to get clients as consistently as I thought. I didn't really like, uh, I was like putting out offers and they weren't getting the sort of results I wanted. So I started to like lose confidence. So I started to buy more online courses thinking there was some secret. Then at some point I realized like there was no secret. It was like, I would, I would drive, let's say 200 visitors to my website and I would get like whatever, let's say five, 10, 20 sales. Right. And I would think, Oh, why haven't I made a million dollars yet? But it was like, you only drove 200 visitors. Why would you, how are you going to make a million dollars from 200 visitors and a hundred dollar products? Like make it make sense. Right. So um, I realized that marketing is really just one big game of awareness and you create awareness through communication, right? Content. So um, I just started to realize like at some point you want, there's foundations, right? You need an audience. Um, you need a message, something for people to buy into a message, story, transformation. You can use any of those words. You need a sales process, a way for people to buy. And then you need something for them to buy. And once you have a proven product or service, you know who you're serving, you you know a story that works, then the whole game just becomes about awareness, 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 right? And uh, in 2023, one of the best ways to create awareness is through short form video content, right? One short form video can be published on uh, YouTube, it can be published on Pinterest, uh, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, all these different platforms, right? So short form video is one of the best ways to create, um, to get a ton of awareness to your brand in 2023. But um, as far as like just starting your own service-based business, uh, specifically the marketing agency or coaching business, it's about creating an offer that's unique to you. Um, so for example, I have a friend and I suggested that he, let's say, sell a short form video editing service to um, CBD brands or um, hemp related brands because he worked at a company to, it was uh, where they sold like tobacco and those sort of products. And he, he alone helped the company scale to like a point where I think they were having like making a thousand dollars a day, a thousand dollars a day or more. So you ha I was like, yo, you have experience in this space. You've created content for your own uh, store. Um, why don't you reach out to CBD brands, hemp brands, and be like, hey, um, I'll create 30 to 40. I'll help you script, film, and edit 30 to 40 pieces of content per month and charge them $1,500 plus um, for that because he already has a story and he can literally just go to the client and be like, hey, here, here's the content I've created. So you want to find um, an offer that makes that that makes sense to you, right? Um, for me, that was funnel design. Then when we started to charge more, we were um, we were pretty much building uh, funnels top to bottom. We would help them create their Facebook group. We would help them build their landing page. We would help them create their content, everything they need, even help them craft their offer. Everything they needed to get a sale, we would help them do because I um, had experience building funnels from top to bottom to sell you know, various services, graphic design services, uh, courses, um, all that. So it's whatever is unique to you. And then the game just becomes about like sticking, telling a story long enough to get your first client, five clients, 100 clients, 200 clients, and then just staying consistent long enough for your efforts to compound upon themselves and then eventually um, make whatever your desired income is. Right.
right so that is that is something what is interesting right you also mentioned about the offers right mm. so uh, people really stuck at that let's say they start their marketing agency but mm. they feel that they aren't able to deliver the right of mm. so how to overcome that like how one can craft a good offer so yeah i mean it crafting a good offer i mean like in 2023 one of the best offers i think you can sell is short form um editing like helping people not just edit but like script film edit and publish sometimes you create content for clients and they still don't publish the content so publishing it for them also is uh something you can add to your offer but helping them produce more short form uh, video content, or it could be on Facebook, uh, Twitter content, like any sort of um, content marketing effort, uh, sorry, content marketing offer in 2023 would be a good offer. Um, I was listening to an agency coach and he had said, one thing you can do, right, is you can go to like a popular influencer um, in the agency space and then you can see like what they're talking about and right now a lot of people are talking about short form content so it, it would make sense for you to create an offer like that um and then just any skill around digital marketing is still relevant like copywriting funnel building like all those skills um are still relevant the game, it, it just comes down to finding the sort of people who uh, just need what you have. And I mean, a lot of business owners just suck with marketing. But uh, I think something that a lot of service providers struggle with is like their promotion. Because it's not what you do, it's how you do it. Because you could be selling the exact same service somebody else with, but they'll have way more um clientele they'll have way more success than you so you have to ask yourself what is it that makes them so special and again it's always going to be the story so if you create an account right and in 90 days you took the account from zero to 100k followers that's your story right that's what people are buying into when they go and buy your service they're like oh if i work with desmond i can take my account from zero to 100,000 followers so I would just find something that you feel confident being able to deliver results on. Again, funnel designs, you could literally get a free trial to click funnels, build a few funnels, and then take a screenshot and share that. And then um, you can be confident that you can deliver on that service because you literally built a funnel from start to finish, right? A short form video editing service. Uh, uh, you can just go and watch a few tutorials. Um, I'm going to be posting more on my YouTube channel. And then you can learn how to script, film, and edit this content. And then um, you could do it for yourself. And then as you do it for yourself, right, you can literally just show your clients, hey, this is what I've done. If you want this for your business, um, uh, I can, you know, help you do that. So I, I, I think it's really just finding um something you're confident delivering something you can easily show to people and just think about what's what's trending and working right now and then just stick to it long enough um yeah and just promote consistently like and, and just throw offers out there like my uh core offer that i initially first sold for like five thousand dollars right for i sold it off for four five eight and 14 grand the same offer the only difference was like the time period. Like if it was 90 days, it might've been 5k. If it was like six months, it was 8k. Um, but the, the, how, how I created that offer was it started out with me creating funnels. And one day I decided, Oh, let me create profile banners for people. And then I would create profile banners and share that. And then all those little offers I would create, whether it would be for $150, a thousand dollars, all those ended up uh and it ended up becoming one core offer right all those little offers i created just ran just i just have thoughts and i'm just like oh let me post about it see if somebody wants it all those little offers ended up becoming my core offer and they just taught me so much about how to craft offers that sell um which again is just comes down to solving a problem for people like hey, these people have this problem, let me create the solution. Business owners are always going to pay to either save time 
um, they're going to pay to save money or make money. So whatever you're confident in selling, whatever is unique to you, whatever skills and knowledge you already have, package that up. I have a friend, he's a fitness um, trainer and he was, go or he's a personal trainer now and kind of like a health and wellness coach. When he like he, he was going to school for engineering and then he was just like, man, I'm just not passionate about this. And I'm like, well, look, you've been fit your whole life. You've always played sports. You're so big on uh, a healthier lifestyle. Why don't you create an offer around that? So now he has ebooks. He he became a personal trainer. He just um, uh, he has a health and wellness coaching program. Um, he was at the gym the other day and he started talking to someone and ended up closing them. Right. Um, just by me making him aware that, look, the skills and knowledge you have can be turned into something people uh, to offer people want to buy. So, yeah, just look at whatever skills and knowledge you have and just uh, throw some ideas out there, see what people see if people bite. And, um, yeah, you'll find your offer over time. Right. All right. That's that sounds interesting. Like one has to just get started. Yeah, right? <laughs> really. Yeah, that's all. Right. Awesome. Awesome. So, uh, all right. Uh, as you mentioned, like awareness, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the ways to get more sales, right? Mm -hmm. And also I've seen a lot of people jumping in the DMs and uh, mm -hmm. making the sales happen. What is exactly that way? How is that working? So I don't, I'm not an expert at outbound. Um, I'm not the person you talk to to ask how to do it effectively necessarily. Um, so Alex Hermosi did a presentation and in this presentation, he was showcasing the six different ways you can, uh, the six different places you can get leads from. One of them was doing outbound. Mm -hmm. And so I, I'm big on the idea of leveraging. So like I talk about, right? The the whole game is about awareness. How can I get more attention? So put out content, right? Put out a video on YouTube one day, put out a po two posts on Facebook one day, make some tweets on Twitter. All, all these different ways you, you can get attention, leverage them. One way I might leverage outbound is not by like reaching out to a bunch of people. I actually have a student who kills it with it. So it does work. Um. My only problem with it is it doesn't compound upon itself, right? If I make a video on YouTube today, or if I just go on a streak, right? I'm like, let me go and create 30 days of content, 60 days of content, 90 days of content. Those pieces of content are going to be found a year from now, two years from now, three years from now. If I stop doing outbound, I'm not going to get any more leads. I'm not getting any more sales. So I'll do outbound, but to get someone into a piece of content, so let's say someone, um, I make a post. I'm like, hey, who wants this free resource? Uh, a comment, whatever word below. A bunch of people will say, hey, I want, I want it. I might do out, out the piece of content um, uh, gets people to be interested. And then I'll do out, I'll, I'll reach out to them. Um, and then that outreach with that outreach, I tell them, hey, um, here's a link to go to my website, which brings them into my sales process, right? And so that's one way I'll leverage out, uh, outbound. I will, let's say, um, reach out to someone. I'm like, hey, let me do an interview with you. And that's another way I'll do outbound. But as far as like cold outbound, I don't reach out to a bunch of strangers. The only outbound, I, excuse me, the only like outreach or outbound I do is like friend requests on Facebook or um, LinkedIn connections. Those are forms of uh, outbound marketing and out, uh, ways to get more awareness. But I don't do cold calls. I don't cold message a bunch of people. Um, I, again, for some people it works. I, I interviewed somebody, his name is Ty Frankel. He scaled an agency called Shutdown uh, Music to 1.3 million just through cold email because Sometimes it makes more sense if you're working with, if you're trying to reach like fortune, I don't know, 500 companies, maybe you do want to like cold message um, some of the CEO on LinkedIn or um, cold email the CEO, right? It might make more sense to go about it, like have it in your toolkit, right? Understand why people 
why people do things, right? Understand why marketing works. And it doesn't really matter what method of communication um, you use. You can leverage it all. I can, I'm sure if I really wanted to, I can figure out outbound and kill it with outbound. Um, it doesn't matter if I'm using TikTok, YouTube, Twitter. I understand why people take action in the first place. And that's simply because they have problems um, that they want solutions for. They have desires they want fulfilled. So if I'm reaching out to someone, I'm thinking, okay, do they know who I am? Do they know anything about what I sell? Um, do they know anything about my system? And I'm going to first think about that. Like, how aware are they? And so if they're completely unaware of who I am, uh, what I do, how I do it, I might just reach out and not like try and sell them something immediately. Um, I do believe in being direct, though. I think some people miss the direct and direct message. Sometimes you, you should just be direct, like if you want something from someone. But um, like I remember, for example, there was this artist um a rapper and what i had done was i reached out i'm like hey i think you should do a giveaway and i'll fund it um and so i funded it and he launched the giveaway it wasn't really that successful but i ended up building that relationship with him and now he's like getting two hundred thousand monthly streams he's blowing up he has 30k followers and so um just me reaching out and just providing value right which should always be your goal provide value um just understanding why people do things that will uh allow you to get clients from any method any platform just understanding what fuels people um will allow those pla uh those methods to work all right all right so there, there are multiple ways as you mentioned right and one can follow any of them right mm -hmm. and it's just that they need to figure out by executing what works for them better right yep. so here 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 comes a question uh it's, it's a pretty interesting question let's say uh what the desmond nana would do if he was 20 years old how would he mm -hmm. start his business and grow it to multiples like i won't say multiple but like six mm -hmm. figures yeah uh, yeah i mean um I, I always say like how you make one sale is how you make a thousand. So um, once you understand why marketing works, it doesn't matter if we're talking about making a hundred K a year, 250 K a year. It's, it's the same thing. Like get more attention, have more conversations, make more offers, make more sales. So this is the blueprint for really making a dollar or, or a million dollars. Right. Um, How I would start from scratch is like in today, like today, right now, what I would do is I would do short form editing. Um, I would work with very few clients. Um, I, I, I think you can really best help your clients if you just spend a lot of time with their content strategy. You just work with them one-on-one. -on -one. You, 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 keep, you keep constant communication with them and work with very few people. Um, I would charge 5K or not even 5K. Um, I would say 8K um, per quarter, per quarter, not uh, so 90 days. Um, that would be my offer, scripting, filming, editing, and publishing short form content. And I would go after um, coaches, consultants. Uh, that's kind of my niche, eight, uh, agency owners. And I would start off by building my brand on Facebook. I would go in the right groups. I would just send friend requests out and I would just start posting content around short form video content. And as I am growing my audience, as I'm getting more views, I'm just going to take screenshots of like the, the progress I'm having on Instagram or TikTok and just share that on Facebook. And all my friends are now going to see that, oh, um, this dude is getting all of this attention with short form video um, and so let me pay this guy, right? I'm going to make posts doing three things. I'm going to make them aware of why they're not getting more clients, right? So I'm going to make them problem aware. And so I'm going to make content saying, hey, um, the reason you're not getting more clients is because more people don't know who you are. So you need to increase your awareness and have more conversations. The second type of content, I'm uh, the, the second thing I'm going to make content around is how to get more awareness through short form content. So I'm basically going to tell them, hey, 
Um, if you want to create viral short form content, you need to learn how to script it well. You need to learn how to film it well. You need to learn how to edit it so that people engage with it. People like it. People share and people feel compelled to want to work with you. Right. So I'm going to um, educate them on my system that I use to create content at scale, which is really just, hey, we film content for two hours. Um, Sorry about that. Uh, we film content for two hours and then um, I send it over to an editor. This editor edits it within seven to 10 days and that's our system, right? Um, and then lastly, I'm going to make offers. I'm going to say, hey, who wants help? Who wants me to create uh, the next 30 to 40 pieces of short form content uh, within the next 10 days or in less than two hours? I'm going to like, change the languaging a little, but I'm going to make offers, right? I, I find a lot of people don't ask for money. Me, every time I make a post, I like I like to add like the link to my offer, even if it's even if the post had nothing to do with my offer or my website, or I'm just going to keep on making a post. I mean, every time I make a post, I'm going to have a link or a call to action in the comments. And sometimes I'm just going to blatant, I'm just going to straight up say, hey, who wants this service? Hey, I'm looking for three clients who want this uh, solution. So those are the types of content I would make. And then I would just be focused. Like I would just keep on saying the same thing over and over again. You need more short form content. I would keep on adding people every single day. Um, I would be distributing my short form content on Instagram, uh, Facebook, YouTube. These are all places you can get content and all places you can share short form. And then I would just make offers. And then uh, the more traffic I get, the more... Um, appointments I book, the more deals I close, the more money I make. And at 8K per quarter, um, with just what, five, let's say five clients, um, there's four quarters in a year. So that would be like, what, a $200,000 per year business um, with that math. So I would just work with very few clients, charge a lot of money, and I would sell short form video editing services. All right. All right, that's a kind of a great blueprint that you have already shared. And the one who is uh, able to relate with your story would be definitely able to get at that place where you just have mentioned, right? Okay, so moving forward to, I, I would say, uh, last but not the least over here, like what are the uh, three tips that you would like to give to the audience? Three tips, man. Um, Communication, communication, right? Whether we're talking about getting in bed with someone, whether we're talking about um, Jesus Christ, whether we're talking about Martin Luther King, we're talking about politicians, um, the way you get people to do things is through, through communication, right? Sharing your message, sharing your story. Right. Um, nowadays, I don't really drink. I try to drink like spring water. Right. Because I've I've learned um, I've been listening to a lot of like holistic uh, coaches and healers. And so they've communicated to me how all these foods are killing me. White flour, white sugar, white salt, uh, foods with dyes in it. They've communicated to me how all this stuff is killing me. So now I've changed my buying habits as a result of their communication. I drink spring water now. I use uh, Himalayan pink salt. Um, I cook now instead of buying out. So communication is the very thing that gets people to do things. And once you understand communication, you know, you effectively you know you effectively know how to get whatever you want then the game just becomes about communicating to more people a hundred people a thousand people ten thousand people a hundred thousand people so whether it's money we're talking about manipulation influence persuasion seduction getting what you want is just one huge game of uh communication um two uh beware of wolves and sheep's clothing so there's two 2022 a lot of people got exposed the liver king who was telling everyone that you should be eating raw liver and raw meat to cure yourself of your ailments got exposed for being on steroids um the whole time and not even you know eating liver to be that huge 
Um, I heard that Logan Paul apparently scammed his audience with this NFT he made money from, but he never even like, or this game that he said he was going to create, but never even created. Um, uh, I heard that blood pressure medication got recalled because it's, um, uh, it, it was causing cancer to people. So you have your doctor in a white lab coat that you trust. You have this influencer you trust. You have this coach you trust. And, you know, at, at the end of the day, they were, they're just robbing you of your money. They've, they've been lying to you. So once you become more aware, once you actually learn the truth through experience, through act, like, I think maybe a carnivore diet might work for some people, but I, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in a carnivore diet, but it might work for some people, but you can only really learn truth through like doing your own research, actually trying this, trying that. And then that's where you'll discover truth. And then you'll be aware of like scams. Like for example, I used to, you know, watch webinars and I would feel so compelled to buy something at the end. And it wasn't until I understood until I actually ran a business for some time that I realized like, okay, it's not that easy to just like <laughs> go from zero to a hundred K um, per month in, in, in any amount of time. Like you can't just do that in 90 days. So the more aware you become, the more you can be, be you, the more you can see the scams and you can see the charlatans and learn what it really takes to um, grow a business, make money, be healthy, um, get the person you want, be happy, all these things, right? And lastly, hmm, what's another lesson I've learned, man? Uh, uh, keep, take care of your health. <laughs> um, take care of your health. Uh, last year, I randomly like had an occasion where I just started passing out. I I woke up one day, I randomly passed out. I went to Houston. I almost passed out during a, con a client call. And so, you know, and then recently I started to find this numbness in my body. Now, once I figure out why there's numbness on the left side, I'll know what to do with it um, or I'll know what to do about it. But um, uh, take care of your health. <laughs> take care of your health because – once you're having like an issue like this, like that's all you're really concerned about. Like you can't really focus on your business if you're in and out the hospital and whatnot. So uh, become more aware of what it takes to be healthy uh, from your sleeping habits, stress management, uh, what you eat, drink and whatnot. Right, right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to my audience as well for being over here, watching us. If you are, uh, you know, uh, watching right now here, so do type in the comment section that you have got insane value. Just type the golden adjuts and I'll share his uh, website link so that you can jump on checking his uh, website and you can connect with him and you can uh, DM him directly on Messenger if you want to learn something or the other and see what uh, amazing stuff that he has been doing. That's what I have been learning from him exactly. And dear guests, thank you so much for being over here and sharing the valuable messages with my audience. Of course, man. Peace. Perfect.